Alright, so hey, how is it going guys? It's Robin here on Gaming with Chips coming at you with yet another Red Dead Redemption 2 tutorial, tips video, whatever you want to call it. In this video guide, I'm gonna show you how to hunt animals in this game and yeah, with that said, let's get started. Now, if you're curious how to hunt legendary animals, I've made videos on that in the past. I've linked that video up down below for you guys. But right now, we're just gonna be focusing on the best practices when it comes to hunting non-legendary animals so to speak because there are a few things you need to know about that will determine what you will be able to loot in the end so here we go with that said let's get started now every animal in the game has a quality that broadly reflects its physical condition for example you would naturally expect a healthy deer in the prime of its life to have a generally better pelt than a skin in a sick one right uh, but more on that in a second also you need to decide how to kill the animal and by that i mean what kind of weapon are you gonna be using that will also play a huge influence on what you're gonna be able to loot afterwards so to speak so this is explained pretty early in the game when you're doing a mission with javier where you're supposed to kill a rabbit where he suggests you to use the bow and not a double barrel shotgun if you think about it it makes quite a lot of sense right imagine trying to cook a rabbit that has been filled with metal and gunpowder right not very good probably therefore i always recommend going with the bow and if you have progress so far in the game that you have unlocked poison arrows that is even better if you're going for bigger animals but regardless a regular bow will get you miles ahead anyway also there are several different camera angles that you can play in this game i've noticed that playing in third person will vastly increase the difficulty of aiming so so i would definitely recommend you to jump into first person when going for a clean kill this will help you a ton i guarantee you let's talk weapons again the bow is good for two reasons it's quiet and it leaves no traces in the pelt or in the meat so to speak afterwards you will basically increase your chances of getting the best possible loot by going with the bow now how do you determine the animal quality in what condition the animal is in when aiming at the animal you can either press l2 if you're on the playstation 4 or left trigger on the xbox and then hold either r1 or on the ps4 or the right bumper on the xbox and you will be able to study the animal there are three different classes in terms of quality we got poor which is one star we got good which is two stars and lastly we got pristine which is three stars now let's touch on kill quality how you kill the animal again for a second always try and aim at the most vital part of the animal for a quick kill that will always always increase your chances of getting a clean one shot kill regardless how much hp the animal got so if you get a perfect hit in the head or in the neck for example that will instantly kill the animal now getting a clean shot will guarantee best possible loot as well now there are obviously so many animals in the game all with different sizes and shapes and some weapons are better than others and there will be separate videos covering this topic but for now on these tips provided in this video should get you a fantastic start and yeah that's basically it for this video let me know what animals you've stumbled across any legendary animals so far guys i want to know in the comments in the meantime there are tons of red dead redemption videos already on the channel and there will be plenty of more in the upcoming days so definitely subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos thank you so much for watching this video guys and until next time have an awesome day all right bye